Hey, Mom. Whose truck? Yours. It's a gift from Lex Luthor. Dear Clark, drive safely. Always in your debt. The maniac in the Porsche. I don't believe it. Where are the keys? Your father has them. I'm going to talk to the Red Cross people, see if they have any new information about your father. Clark. Any luck? We looked all night. The search and rescue team combed the farm this morning, but they didn't find anything either. I don't, don't know what to do. He's been missing for over 12 hours. You'll find him, Clark. I know it. Thanks. I thought you'd be home recuperating. I wanted to help. Who are you talking to? Who's this? Clark, it's me. Got it. How's the farm? Clark, your mother and I love you very much, and we want you to come home. Is that right? Hey, what about not dwelling on the past and making a fresh new start? Come on, you can admit it. You're happier I'm gone. Clark. Son, that's not true. I'm not your son, and you're not my parents. You never have been. What'd the doctor say? Well, she said that your father is a, a walking, breathing miracle. And that's thanks to you. I'm the real hero's mom. If it wasn't for her, I'd still be kel -El. Son, uh, do you remember anything that happened after you got pulled into that wall? I just remember the last couple days. Even that's a little jumbled. Clark. Thank God you're okay. Where's my mom and dad? At the hospital. Your mom has a concussion and a broken leg, but she's gonna be okay. She's out of danger now. What about Lana? Lana's safe. It's Chloe I'm worried about. Why? Doc, she was down in the cave with me when the meteors hit. Now you'll die with all the rest. Let her go! Phantom Clark thing was inhabiting humans, but when he touched you, it just replicated. Why? The Phantom needed a Cretonian body in order to replicate to become whole again. Chloe, I don't know how to stop him. It's not like I can just fly after him. This guy can fly? God, Clark, you gotta get on that one. Well, where is our bizarro Clark now? I don't know. But Chloe, before I hit him, his face distorted. Almost like he was hurt. Which is why he pushed pause on his one-man mission to kill you. But why would your doppelganger weaken if you didn't? It's almost like everything affects him the opposite. Like when Lionel held the meteor rock to him, it almost made him stronger. How does an ice fortress disappear into thin air? Oh, I feel like there's a punchline to that question. It's good for you. It almost be part of my father's plan. As it turns out, his idea of controlling me was taking away my powers. It's better than Lex walking around with the remote control to a Clark bot. Lex was there. He knows everything. He knows my secret. Well, Clark, Lex may be tenacious, but there's no way to survive that. I did. Without my abilities. For three weeks, I've been trying to track you down, and you're completely off the radar. Lois shows up for one day, and you're as predictable as clockwork. It wasn't that I didn't want to come by and see that you were okay. I know. Leaving everyone behind. 
It's not what I wanted. It isn't about what we want, Clark. It's about what the rest of the world needs. I get it. I was lucky to be a part of your life for a little while, but we both know that you'd have to move on one day. Clark, you survived. How did you... I didn't. Zod stabbed me with blue kryptonite. He kept us from ascending. I took the knife from him and sent him away. I guess I kind of... kind of died. But I'm here now, and what about the others? Did they make it? They're fine. Can we go back to the part where you died? It was more of a near-death experience. Jor-El told me that greater evil was coming. He sent me back to fight.